Like, I've been real sleep, so I've been sleep. Like, I just want to take a moment and thank God for the food. Because I'm getting into the video. I can't. Y'all gotta see it. Get into the video. I would like to get to know my first vlog this is my first vlog for the new year guys i am so excited and i'm bringing back sinclair southern kitchen <laughs> i know what you're saying my name you haven't done sinclair southern kitchen in forever what happened don't worry about all that so just worry about this recipe that i'm bringing to you so this episode i'm giving you a recipe on lemon garlic butter shrimp with zucchini noodles and when I tell y'all it's good, it's good, it's delicious. <laughs> Guys, this pasta is it, it's, it's it. For the new year, I know you guys are thinking, oh, what's your new year resolution? What, what you trying to do? What are you trying to, uh, what's going on? I ain't doing none of that. I'm making a promise to myself that I will get healthier and I will get active. Listen to what I said now, I want to get healthier it's not a resolution i just this is a lifestyle change and that's what i'm doing i already don't eat fried foods that much anyway and why not enjoy them in moderation and show you guys on my journey of how i want to just get healthier and let me not forget if you're new to my channel hi love welcome to our channel join our family hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and welcome to our family i don't know what my hair is doing but <laughs> we're still excited but if you're old to my channel what is good what it do what is up baby hello it's your girl back again for another video i know you guys are ready you ready your mouth is watering it's going on i don't know what's going on but i'm gonna make sure i get it tasty and smelling good up in here and like, you'll be smelling it through the screen like that's that's good and we're gonna get into this video <laughs> let's go <laughs> all right guys for this video i'm using jumbo shrimp peeled and already deveined with the tail on it's just going to be easier for me but you can go get this shrimp peeled and deveined in medium or in jumbo so that's good for you i wanted to add some mushrooms it's my favorite favorite thing to add in any kind of pasta i love sliced mushrooms and those are my favorite shiitake mushrooms they help so much especially when you're trying to do your vegetable intake you get spiral zucchini to replace the pasta and that is more healthier for you if you don't have a spiraler you can always go to Publix or your local target to find zucchini that's already pre-spiraled for you lemons this will help us get that flavor that we need and you can use chicken or vegetable stock and I'll be choosing which one in a minute for our spices and our seasonings, I have paprika, accent, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, onion powder, salt, black pepper, and butter and olive oil. And also, you're going to need a 10-inch pan because we're going to cook it all together. And let's get on that stovetop, guys. All right, guys. The shrimp was already deveined. It was already cooked already peeled except for the tail end so i make sure that i peeled it the ends i don't really like the ends it's not my favorite so i make sure i peeled off the ends i make sure that i clean them that is the key make sure you clean your shrimp your meat your anything especially shrimp in cold water one because you don't want the shrimp to cook while you're cleaning you haven't even gotten to cooking it yet and it'll be mushy so I've already cleaned them. They already went through the cleaning process, went through the detailing process. Detail, <laughs> okay. Boy, if you don't. 
I thought that was funny, but it wasn't. Okay. And I transferred them from the sink to this bowl. So my shrimp is already ready to go on the stove. And another thing, I use gloves. So if you don't know, I don't like my fingernails to touch any kind of food because one, it'll get it under your fingernails. Two, that's bacteria and stuff. You probably won't be able to get under your fingernails or from under your fingernails after you wash it. So I wash my hands. I use gloves after, then I wash my hands again. I just don't like, I don't like the feeling. So now we're just gonna take our shrimp and we're going to move it to the stove. Let's go. We're gonna go ahead and heat up. It's, and I like to put it like around like four, three. That's like medium low or low for you guys. I'm gonna take my pan and go ahead and let that heat up for a good second. So now we're gonna take our extra virgin olive oil, add one tablespoon of that. Then our butter, two tablespoons of butter. What I like to do is like make sure you heat it up really good. Make sure the pan goes all the way around and it hits every corner. Wee. Okay, so now that it's heated, we're gonna take our shrimp, add it in here. All right guys, I got to the point where I just stopped talking, but I can do a voiceover. So now I'm adding salt. I poured it in my hand to measure. That's about a teaspoon. Next, I'll be adding black pepper, which a couple of dashes would do just nicely. After I wanna stir, make sure every piece of shrimp is on the pan. Next, I'll be using onion powder. I love using onion powder when I cook better than onions. Next, I'll be using garlic powder. Give that a generous amount. After I'll be using Italian seasoning, now I really gave Italian seasoning just a generous amount. I really wanted it to taste kind of like pasta, so make sure you guys season it. A little bit of paprika just for taste, guys, just for taste. You could skip the paprika, it's my preference of what I want in my pasta. An accent, this heightens the flavor of any meat. And now I'm just stirring all in that butter and those seasonings all over that shrimp. And make sure that it gets an even season and an even browning. All right, so now the shrimp are like kind of cooked and cooked evenly. We make sure that now we're gonna transfer this over to a bowl. And I'm being so careful to not get the juice, the lemon butter, the garlic, all of that off, out. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. We're gonna take our lemon, and we're just gonna squeeze half of lemon in here. Make sure you get all of it stir. mushrooms because we want our mushrooms to be sauteed in this all right guys i also added vegetable stock a one fourth cup i thought it needed a little bit more flavor i told you guys i was gonna choose but eh. now i'm adding the zucchini noodles and we're gonna add these simmer them around and make sure they get an even coating of the sauce notice that i reduced the heat to low and we're just gonna let these simmer down and cover them for like two or three minutes. A few minutes later. Oh, uh, now they're perfect. They're really tender, really soft. That's how we need them to be. And I'm just throwing them around, checking the consistency to see that's where I want it. 
now we're adding the shrimp in so everything can blend nicely together. And there you have it. There you go for that pasta, guys. Now you're going to see the finished product. All right, guys, there you have it. There is our finished lemon garlic butter shrimp and zucchini pasta. I decorated the plate with a couple of lemons. I've enjoyed this and I hope you and next is a taste test so stay tuned we're gonna get it in all right guys we're about to do the taste test let's get ready That's all. That's, that's all I can say. <clears throat> that's I don't. I'm gonna try this zucchini. That's it. That's it right there. Mm mm. Mm mm. You can't bother me no more. Mm. It's like the garlic on the zucchini, like. Match with the shrimp, right? Cut that in half, you know. And I can totally substitute this for noodles, right? Totally. And it doesn't taste bad at all. Like, it really tastes really good. Like, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for making this healthy dish. And I'm proud of myself for trying to stick to my promise to myself. So, I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna enjoy that. I'm gonna... <laughs> Wait, I'm just gonna be some wine. Alright, I'm gonna take a break from eating just to say thank you guys so much for tuning in this video. I paired this meal with my favorite Moscato, my white wine, from Publix. All of these ingredients, everything you can get from Publix and your local Target. I hope you enjoyed this meal. I hope you tried this meal. I hope you enjoyed me watching me cook. I've certainly enjoyed it. I'm going to finish this. One more thing. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because you want to. You need to. You'll learn everything about me and my channel and everything else there is to know about my life if you subscribe. And it's free, girl. Make sure you subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram. Guys, you're going to see... Uh, uh, a good nice little picture of this on Instagram so make sure you follow make sure you comment below let me know any other recipes or any other things that I could try healthy recipes and let me know what your 2020 New Year's resolution is or New Year's promise if you like me all right guys thank you so much for tuning this video once again I love you lots peace Christ, I'm gonna tell it I'm gonna tell it I'm gonna tell it